everyone, welcome back. I hope we are well. Today I'm going to be doing a styling video with outfit suggestions made by you. So I put out on my Instagram the other day, what occasions would you like me to style for? Could be anything, the pub, cafe, a date, a wedding. And I had a huge response, pretty mind blowing. So I've picked a selection of different occasions and I am gonna be showing you how I would style them. Let's go. So we've got a casual date, coffee, walk. Let's bear in mind that it's January, so it's pretty cold. But I would just simply go for a nice knit tucked into a pair of jeans, some Dr. Martin chunky boots or chunky boots of sorts. Obviously make sure you've worn them in so you're not having to run to boots to buy blister plasters, though it might make a fun story for another day. Bit of a funky coat, nice perfume, make sure that you're smelling good. But I think this is quite cute every day. Still very warm and welcoming for a, for a nice day because you know, you stop off for a coffee and you just be like, you just like, hi, my name's Okay, if I was a teacher, it depends where I'm teaching though, right? Because I mean, I've taught, I taught at um, college for a bit and I just wore my everyday clothes, but you know, if, if you're a, for a secondary school and you want to inspire the youths, I think this is cool because it's quite, I'd say it's quite smart. I'm in black and I've got like this sewn in shirt, but then I'm wearing my beret and my sunglasses. I wouldn't wear them all day, but I just, I'd definitely walk into class. Like, Hello, I hope you've done your homework. I don't want to be dishing out detention because I don't want to be the fun police here, but you've got to take me and my class seriously. And if you want to pass, and you want to go on to do great things, gotta do your homework. I don't know, but I, I probably would teach art, music, photography, or me, or drama. But you know, converse, to keep it real. Be down with the kids, you know, because they love all that shit. Linen trousers for flexibility, not like I need to be flexible, but if I need to run, a, run down any student that's being a shithead, or just generally walk around campus, you want to be comfortable. And then this top half just looks quite smart, doesn't it? Obviously lots of jewelry, so they know that I'm, you know, cool and free-spirited. And then hat, beret, to beret or not, depends how I'm feeling on the day, you know? Family meal followed by a night out. This one, you can sw swap and change. So starting with a little a little cropped jacket here with all my tassels on. This is an old ASOS number. Tight boots of some sort, I've gone with these ones. Obviously tights are optional, we don't have to wear them, depending on how warm it is. This is what the dress looks like. It's just like a shirt dress with a tie around the waist. Um, so you can button this up as high or as low as you want. When the nightclub is calling, I might just pop one a little looser. So, uh, hey, you wanna buy me a shot? I think this kind of ticks both boxes. It sort of meets it in the middle a little bit. I got this shirt dress from New Look. Bit of a vibe. We've got date night, little trigger skirt. I think it's like a tennis skirt. These are the only kind of like, skirts I really like to wear because I think too tight. I'm just like, no thanks. Uh, knee high boots, modified for the fit calf and then just some sort of bodysuit. I've gone for this nude one. I didn't want it to look too formal. It's gone for this lovely nude one. Bag, gotta keep it accessorized. And then jacket, maybe a leather jacket or an oversized coat, depending how warm it is outside. But yeah, I think this is nice for like some drinks or some dinner. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm vibing with this. Okay, office. I've been joined by my dog. Come on outside, mate. All offices are different and they have different like uniform policies. Some are more cash, some are more smart. But I think this kind of meets in the middle because I've got an oversized cream t-shirt, my black linen trousers, and then just an oversized blazer. Now I know it looks quite formal for me, but the fact that it's oversized and quite cool and boxy just takes it away from being super corporate and like, you know, RFS to a little bit more cool and low-key. I don't know, it's easy. I've got my Louis Vuitton loafers on, just as a subtle hint to the boss to go, look, I've got an expensive lifestyle, so you better give me a raise. Also, they are quite smart, so it's all right. Low bun, low maintenance, you know? It's my office vibes. Wedding guest. I absolutely love this dress. I wore it to a friend's wedding years ago, so I've had it a long time. What I love about it is I still feel very much me in it because it has got like this silk, silky satin, 
leopard print detail on it and I love the back of it and then it's got a high neck I'm a big fan of a high neck and I love the sleeves on it an uneven bottom I've got they're like velvety heels with embroidered beaded details on Whoa. <laughs> celestial i'm not the biggest fan of dressing up or fancy i don't feel very comfortable or very con confident but a dress like this makes me feel really good kind of sexy and um i still think it's very very me i feel very good I feel very still very me and i love it and i've also i've taken one of the bits off my louis vuitton bag so i would just probably wear a bag like this with the essentials in it and i'm ready to go to the bar bye Best of all, oh my god, so I, f I love these shorts, I wore them to download loads last year, cowboy boots, gotta be done, some sort of belt, got this like hoopy chainy thing going on in the middle, just a little simple black top, vest up underneath, just in case it gets too hot, some sort of fun jacket, so I've got this pink suede tassel number, and then a hat, you have a festival hat, just make sure it stays on your head, and obviously sunglasses, keep it fun, keep it like, a kind of like a, f a fun version of you basically that's what you want tattoo day keeping it real depending on where you're getting tattooed you need it to be accessible and you also want to be comfortable i mean if you're just going for like something that takes half an hour it doesn't really matter but if you're going in for something that is quite a big piece and you've been sitting for hours you want to be comfortable so i've just gone for some soft style the monkey soft style trousers which i've raved about before I love them. I've just got a bodysuit on and then, or just like a tank top and then just a nice comfortable cardigan and comfortable shoes. I've just got my new balance. But yeah, for me, tattoo day is just about comfort. Cinema. I know you can't really see. Depends really, because if I was going on a cinema date, I would definitely wear this. So if I was, you know, comfortable, I mean, my stretchy jeans and I've got a nice cozy jumper on. So I'd definitely wear this more if I was going on a cinema date. If I was going to cinema with like my best mates, I'd probably be wearing tracky bottoms and a baggy t-shirt and a hat and a big coat because no one sees you at the cinema. So I might as well just be like cozy like I would be at home watching a film. But yeah, like this does the job. Like go cinema, then maybe go for a burger afterwards or have a burger before, go cinema, get Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Go for a drink afterwards maybe. This top, this jumper is very cropped. So I've got like this little thing underneath it. But um, I like it, it's, it's from Nasty Girl. It's just a metallic and then black jeans, chunky boots belt, bag, throw over a big coat, good to go. So that is it, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, that is how I would personally style things. I hope you found that interesting and insightful and potentially inspirational. Ugh, gross. Um, I hope you could get some ideas from that. Bear in mind it's January, so I'm in January mode. So maybe I should do one in like six months time to do like a summer edition and we'll do it again. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys soon. Take care, bye.